I sing this in the shower all the time. If you know the words, sing along. Get used to it. Used to it. Get used to it. Everybody. Get used to it. Used to it. Get used to it. Let's bring out the mayor of Harmontown, Dan Harmon, everybody. Thank you. Uh, it's a good right. song. So it's 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 Emmy night and. Uh, and I just flew back from Milwaukee, and so bad show tonight. It's a bad show tonight. <laughs> but you guys brave traffic, and I thank you for that. I it's was like, in Milwaukee doing uh, in town to do a show uh, with the Who's Live anyway, with you know Ryan Styles and Greg Proops and Joel Murray, and uh, you. And I get a text from Cody, Dan's girlfriend. Are you in Milwaukee? I'm like, yeah, I'm at, I'm at this spy themed uh, bar restaurant called the Safe House. I'm staying at the Fister Hotel, the, ho- the hilariously named Fister Hotel. You, the, their slogan is, you brought her. Yeah. <laughs> you were in town for a grandma f- funeral, right? The, the, yeah, so- my, my dad's mom passed away. Uh, she, she accomplished her mission. She was uh, uh, just, just pushing 90. Um, uh, and and, and the, the the dementia, which we're learning new things about this, like the, 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 we all maybe have it, like like we all just kind of have it in varying degrees, and then, uh, but but like, you know, it's 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 really kind of like the the tragically typical way to to, to the, the that a that a story ends is that they, my parents were moving her in the process of helping her move because the dementia had gotten to a point where she really needed to live with people. Her husband had passed a, a while ago. Um, and uh, while packing, like just the energy and the confusion of like, you know, when you're when you're a person with uh, in that stage of dementia, all of a sudden, there's your shit's being put in boxes and all this stuff. And she so, something got triggered where she's like, I gotta check on my my I gotta get the cat from the basement. She didn't, she doesn't have a cat in the basement, and she like she fell down the uh, stairs and uh, broke her hip, and they took her to the hospital. And then it's, 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 this is just the, the, the tragic ironies of like this is just like Joseph Campbell like 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 you have to we have to accept that our lives the the last parts of them are but like if you can't be attached to this flesh because the 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 way we go out is so re- just ridiculous if we're lucky enough to make it through a healthy life and 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 just to have this 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 chassis just rust and fall apart you know you have to but it get, because it just gets so from there it just gets so cartoonish because they it's like you have dementia and you have a broken hip so then they're like you, we can't give her a new hip because she won't be able to participate in her recovery because she'll forget she has a bionic hip which you need to you need sentience and participation in order to have one of those things take she'll she'll forget and she'll just she'll step on it the wrong way and she won't know what's going on and it'll it'll get all fucked up and it'll be a a fate worse than than a than a peaceful death for her i i the, the, not that that was the only thing she was also she went into a coma um, but it's also like then you also think like like oh if she comes out of this coma, then she's going to be in uh, you know with her dementia she's going to be in bed with a broken hip for the remainder of her life. Which th- if those things start to heal, they heal wrong, and so you have to rebreak them. Uh, and and she'll be she'll be coming in and out of continuity and relearning every five minutes. Oh shit! I have an incredibly painful uh, thing that I didn't know about. Like, 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 just imagine like that horrible kind of fate, which is like uh, probably really common. Like, where you kind of 
like dementia being a very common way that we go out like just the, that cd skipping and 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 that relationship with like this this other really common thing which is we all tend to kind of fall off a porch and break our hip so this is sad i don't i'm not trying to bring everybody down but if i did it would go something like that <laughs> <laughs> but but i mean i think that's you know you're 25 you're listening to the podcast you you, you know it's like, like like the obvious message from that is carpe diem and like like get your get your licks in place in monopoly with your family which is what i did uh and, and uh, but, but it was such a trip. Like we're driving into town. Uh, we're, we're like you know, bussing into town. We'd done, done a show like in Lansing or something like that the night the night before that. We're driving to Milwaukee, and I point towards the uh, historic Third Ward. Right, that's down where the original Comedy Sports was. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, and or not the original one, but the one that I met you at. Yeah, you were like around the corner from where Schraub and I did Comedy Sports before we left. For and LA. I met. And it's like I was saying to the guys in the bus. I'm like, oh, it's like right right down there. In 1994, that's where I met Dan Harmon and Rob Schraub. And then I get a text an hour later, and you're there, and you came to our show, and you're like, you watched me do improv. And I was at this restaurant, this spy themed restaurant called Safe House, and you're like, that's where I first did stand up. Like, yeah, was, yeah, it was, I was, yeah, I would be like 17, and like, because they have like this spy theme there that was made it an easier place to be underage and do stand up, because the spy theme was like, what's the password? And you're like, gibble gobble goobble. And, <laughs> and, and so, like, you could kind of like sneak What is the it, password, by the way? They had their eyes less on the prize of like law enforcement and more. And like, like like this whole like are you James Bond and like go through the bookcase and all this stuff. I had so. to dance around like a chicken for ten seconds, and th then I didn't know that I'm also on camera in the bar. Yeah, that's the idea. There is that there the people in the front room, like they're, they're it's it's basically just like Rocky Horror Picture Show. Are you a virgin or have you been here before? You know, it's like the password is uh, or was when I was going there. Are you, I'm looking for a safe house. First of all, that's not a word. <laughs> Second of all, that's the, I mean that doesn't I mean that that's what your enemies are going to say. I, if I had uh, said, if, <laughs> right? If I had said to the gal because like you walk in there, there's no sign for it. There was me and, and and this like this other woman like 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 you know like early 30s gal like walking up and she's like, do you know where this place is? I'm like I, I'm looking. For, I, I just yelped veggie burger and I, I, that's why I'm here. <laughs> And and she's like I, I was like oh and then there's a girl like like dressed like as a, as a little secretary and there's a switchboard and it's all old timey and she's like do you guys know the password and it says like uh, international exports mm -hmm. something like that and she's like do you know the password I'm like no I don't and she's like well then I'm gonna send you on a mission to Old McDonald's farm you have to cluck like a chicken and r <laughs> dance around in circles for ten seconds and if I had said no. Like I, I, I want to go have a veggie burger. She wouldn't let me in, right? She, she's not allowed to say, "Go fuck yourself." No, I don't know. I'm sure that's a subject of every morning meeting there, depending on <laughs> depending on how business is doing. You know, I don't know. I, 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 maybe maybe for happy hour. I don't know if like that guy from Bar Rescue came in. Maybe he'd yell at them and go, "You're you're turning people away." <laughs> Dude, what, what what's out the door? What's out the door? Uh, uh, what do you see out there? A street? A street in a city? Which which city? Mil Milwaukee, the biggest cheese and beer capital in the world. You need to I'm gonna turn around. I've rescued your bar. It's called Cheese Ballers. <laughs> Uh, anyway, sorry, I got carried away doing it, uh, observational comedy. What, it was a basic were, cable show. That, were you doing an impression of an actual thing, or yeah, were you, just, or, or you having a stroke right there? John Taffer is that, like you've never yeah. seen Bar Rescue. You gotta watch a couple I, episodes I, of Bar I, Rescue. Fuck it, no, I don't. I'll give you some. I'll give you some starter points. First, Bar, bar Rescue. First, watch the Pirate Bar episode. Okay. Uh, I think it's in Pittsburgh. Is that where it is? Maryland. Where Maryland? Yeah, it's my hometown. Wait, Maryland. Okay. It's in Silver Spring, Maryland. Okay, uh, and, uh, 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 but also, w no matter what episode you watch, watch it with your laptop open to Facebook and just type in the name of the bar <laughs> while you're watching the episode because the episode always ends with it being rescued, and then you always you just go to you go to the their Facebook page and there's always a blog entry that's like, so here's the thing, these fuckers, <laughs> like they left and then it just blazing saddles fell apart. Like, like, <laughs> Like they installed some unlicensed beer taps in the walls that were shaped like hands because uh, he st st said that hands were an important thing with our demographic, and now there's just hands dripping illegal booze everywhere. The, the bar they made out of one by fours is like 
had termite what, eggs in it. Was, was, was Blazing Saddles in there? Is that, is that an actual one? The, the, no, the, no. I'm saying like Blazing Saddles, they make a fake town. And oh, oh, oh like, like, it. It's like, like they're kind of like they're a TV show. I mean, they're, TV shows have line producers. Line producers' jobs are to like save money. Rescuing a bar and saving money for the TV show about how the bar got rescued largely entails making it look a lot like a rescued bar from certain <laughs> angles. <laughs> <laughs> and then leaving as it falls apart behind you. But, That's how you keep your job as a line producer. Did, 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 did I meet this person through you? The person that, is there a gay bar called Blazing Saddles? It's like, it's, like a, it's, it's kind of like, like I mean, it's it got to be you, Dan, because you're, you're my go-to for gay bar information. <laughs> it sounds like a rehab program. I, I, for... I, I forget who, uh, who told me the story, but like, this guy, uh, is there a gay bar called Blazing Saddles where it's kind of like, like, like um, Coyote Ugly with a dance, but it's all gay bar and stuff? And, I know. Apparently it's like it's like a huge it's a huge money making like enterprise. This guy was uh, married a woman. She uh, she cheated on him right off the bat. But her but her family was the mob. Like she she was like straight up like mafia family. And this guy married into this family and she cheated on him but the, the family didn't want any disgrace. So the mob, mob boss said to this guy like he, he was just telling the story to this woman like at, at another bar in New York, maybe Dino told me the story. Uh, uh, like my 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 wife my wife cheated on me, and I went and then her father called me in and said, "Look, it's not going to be public. We're not going to talk about it. She cheated on you. We know about it. Anything you want. Here's a here's a they, they gave him a bag of money, like and, and said, whatever you need, let me know." And he goes, I want to open a bar. And he, because he'd, he'd met this woman at another bar and said, I want to open a gay bar called Blazing Saddles where the people get up and dance around. <laughs> Whatever. He's not gay. He's, he'd never opened a bar. <laughs> he, uh, he, and so he went to the guy and said, You're like, you can't open a bar in New York without the mob's consent because you like, 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 you have to, like, there's so much. <laughs> I think I read that on the subreddit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he opened a gay bar with this person with a bag full of mob money and, and, and the mob's, like, blessing. And now he's, like, worth a fucking fortune because his because wife Mel Brooks made the movie based on the bar? Or that it, <laughs> he, no, I, okay. I, it might not be called Blazing Sound. I think it, I think it is. <laughs> I, all throughout the story, I was, like, I was like, I can't do it, but the perfect joke is, like, Jeff, you, you're just remember you don't have a cat in the basement do I have dementia did I make this whole thing up well we all do is what, I, is what I'm I went and saw on. Blazing Saddles in the theater they showed up the arc light because of Gene, uh, Gene Wilder's sad demise went and saw um, one of my favorite movies of all time Blazing Saddles it was so fun to watch it people that knew the movie laughing like crazy millennials that had never seen it were like bummed out <laughs> because it, there's there's end bombs. Yeah. End bombs galore. Well, can, yeah, I mean, I, I when I watch that movie, apparently I am I am running a, a millennial emulator because I'm always like, what the fuck? <laughs> Uh, like this is like space balls in the West. Uh, that's all. Anyways, but so uh, funny though. It, it, the, like, like, well, let's bring out Rob Schraub. Oh uh, shit! Yeah. Rob Schraub. Rob Schraub. He's Rob Schraub. Rob He's the best friend. What? Okay. Wait. What? Wait. I, I, I heard you. I, I, I don't know about this technology. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, can I get a little more of that? Apparently, apparently, some guy named Reggie Watts knows about it. That's a, <laughs> that's what I learned last last week. Because I was like. I was listening to hip hop because I was like, as I was playing, I didn't want to become one of the, I didn't want to, I didn't want to become like the, the rapping guy that like is rapping like 20 years ago. This is unavoidable. I mean, I'm not, I was never, but I just want, I said, your name's Dan Harmon and you're here to say yeah. that you like to do a rap almost every like, day. When's the last time you listened to anything rap oriented? And I, so I went to my Apple music with my little wrinkled finger and I, I pressed play on some picture of a rapping man and I, <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I listened for 10 songs and I was like, holy shit, these guys, number one, very sad, very lonely, uh, very, 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 very emo, really, I think it was what we would have called it, uh, and, uh, and, but also very um, auto-tuned. And by auto-tuned, I mean 
no autonomy and no tune. Like, like it's just the whole. It's it's like it's the same as with record scratching. Like when in the '80s, where it was like it just because of Herbie Hancock and, and the like. Like everyone for a large period of time, you had to have record scratching in your song. But it's right. like this is it's like everyone has to be auto tuned. Yeah. Can it's you do sad. share voice? Share voice? Share you, voice? The, well, do you, do you, Danny, I think what Rob is asking is. If you believe in lo- life after love. Yeah, I mean, I don't think... I mean, this is a vocoder. I don't think it simulates... Give it a shot. You know, it doesn't... Do I believe... Do I believe in... Do I believe in things? Yo, yo, what do I believe in? Do I believe in Bigfoot? Do I believe in leprechauns? A little short Irish man that grant wishes. I fucked your mama so hard she did the dishes. I went to the kitchen, said, quit your bitch, I'm gonna give you a lynching. So I gave her a lynching. She said, what's this? I said, don't ask. I went up to the attic and installed some insulation. Weatherproof in your home? Do you believe in weatherproof in your home? How can you proof against something that's a phenomenon older than your own species? Ants don't weatherproof. Yo, dance isn't weatherproof. Yik, yik, a yikity yak. You fucked your mama so hard, I put her pussy in a tater sack. She won a three-legged race with my dick. <laughs> At a father-daughter picnic That's, that's how hard I fucked her I fucked your mama so hard She became a Boy Scout event Yeah, but back to The things you believe in or not Yeah, Dateline Loch Ness I fucked your mama Tore her dress It was consensual She liked to be ravished that's what they called it back then. Ravishing. Hashtag rape culture. Okay, okay, okay all right. Hashtag rap culture. No, 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 no. Bringing it back, taking back. The night I went on the banks of Loch Ness and studied all night until I saw a little head coming out. Took a photo of it and I screamed and shout. I prove it. I believe in the Loch Ness monster. Yo, that shit was a log. It was a piece of floating wood. A cautionary tale. Those airplane tickets cost me eight thousand dollars. <laughs> Wow. It, it's, like, it's like I never left. It's like I never left. That was amazing. Thank you. What, we have been just living in twilights until you had this thing. We've been, yeah. I have good ideas about, about what the show needs. I also, we need a big screen up here so that they can see stuff that we bring up and then we could do the whole Graham Norton thing. I could go, look at this dog on the internet and everybody would be like, whoa, dude, we could be Ellen in a I want to look at the dog. <laughs> I want to look at the dog. Yeah, you want to look at the I dog. I want to look at the dog. What's, but what's, you know what? You can't look at the dog when... <laughs> When your show is whack. Maybe maybe that should be on a, a stand or something. <laughs> that, I mean it I mean it looks cool when you bend over like <laughs> like that. I, I don't think there's any reason to do anything but you doing that with that vocoder. I kinda did that last week. You gotta listen you know, listen yeah, to the show. I, I, I kinda overdid I it was, last I, week. I was working, man. I know. No, I wasn't I wasn't yelling yeah, at you. Yeah. I heard, right. it was, I heard it was a good show, though. I heard, I heard you and Andy Dick got di- down to some serious. Dick. Yeah, we serious tried. Talk. I would like to have Andy back. Andy was very. It, 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 I thought Andy was wonderful. And I, uh, yeah, I, want, I would like to have him back. I, you know, he start, when he started, ta- he told a story about being Andy Dick at a Starbucks. I thought it was very. It was kind of enthralling. Yeah, Whew, I'm out of breath from bending over <laughs> <laughs> to press comedy rap buttons. <laughs> There were warning signs. <laughs> don't, 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 don't. Uh, 
I gotta get on that elliptical, man. Do you, do you have Steve one? Levy's not in his head. Do you have one at the at the crib? You got you got an elliptical at the house? Yeah. You don't you don't use it? I've, I've, I'm getting around to it. I need a special outfit. <laughs> I can't get on it in my underwear. You're you're at your own house. You can do whatever you like. You, you need you need a tracksuit. Yeah, I need like, a special a special suit. Special tracksuit. Pop your name over on it. pop over Dan. Go to Lululemon and treat yourself. I Even though there's sweatshops and I don't you know. know what that means. Is that a new sponsor? <laughs> All right, I, I'm sure we they could be. Can, can we talk? I'd like to talk about something because I've done a lot of traveling. Um, I just want to talk. I don't. Want, okay, the airlines, this airline, that airline, they're the worst. They're the best. Whatever. What? All of them. All the airlines. What the fuck is going on? What is our relationship supposed to be with that fucking seatbelt sign? What is it supposed to symbolize? What does it mean? Like, the more questions you ask, the more data you gather, the more experiments you do, whether it's getting up when that thing's lit or waiting for it to turn green or t having a conversation with one of these people. Like, it, it's like, like all it, the, the truth yeah. that just comes to light is like, well, okay, You're if we had it our way, you'd always be sitting. Okay, but you can't always sit. You're on a fucking plane for three hours. So there's a light that's just always on that's like, it's a green light with a picture of a seatbelt with the arrow going, the seatbelt is unlatched, but the arrow is going like this, like like this, this seatbelt's going to get latched on the sign. Okay, so that would seem to indicate, fasten your seatbelts, everybody which they make you do at the top of the flight. They never turn that fucking thing off, ever. If you ever have to take a shit, like, they, they don't, you just get up and you're like, you know, it just, it's always random, the interaction you have. They're like, we'd, we'd like you to sit. And so if you really have to take a shit real bad, you go, I gotta take a shit real bad. And they're like, well, I have no, I have no legal right to stop you. Yeah, they're, they're not allowed to, if you want to get up, you can get up. And you can go do it, but they, but they are legally bound to say, we don't advise it. We can't say you should. Yeah, so expressing that with a sign that's like just a thing that's lit up, like that's very, that's just Boy Who Cried Wolf, because it's just like, okay, so you know, I'm just going to ignore everything that you do, like, my, because like, what is this? My sign problem on planes is that there's the, there's the sign for the lavatory, and it's a man and a woman, and the woman is uh, designed as... It, it, there's, there's, there's a man and a woman standing in between. Like, uh, there's a sink in between them. Right. And on a pedestal. And I thought there was a toilet. Pole. Yeah, or, or it's okay. a little like it's a little sink kind of thing. It's like a basin. A, it's a basin in the middle on, on, a, on a pedestal. But the thing is, if you turn that basin over, that's the woman's dress. She's dressed like an upside down sink. <laughs> I find that very diminishing. Hmm. Like she's a receptacle. Yeah. Or or. <laughs> Or 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 or, or, a, or, a, or an agent of hygiene. I don't know. I like, like maybe like, they're cleaner than us. Like, look, look, next time, look at that sink, and then look at the woman. She's just an upside down sink with a head on top of it. They don't know what they're doing on these things, and <laughs> and it's disturbing because obviously I probably don't have to point this out. It's like a ninety ton piece of metal that they fling into the air and rely on some weird pre Newtonian principle <laughs> to just keep it going like a paper airplane. Those things aren't like spaceships where it's like you know there's thrusters and stuff on there. But really the whole thing is like there's like little fans in there that if the plane's already in the air, it tends to stay in the air. That's what a turbine is, as I understand it. Just air's rushing through the thing, and then the things spin because air's coming through, and because the things spin, the plane stays up. Like, there's a problem with that system. If that thing gets trans... What if someone turns the air off? Like God. Which he sometimes does, and probably will if we keep this up. If the in, if, if 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 one of the engines Tur turn off the wind, he's yeah, going to turn, turn off the. What if he just start? What if God just says, "Okay, for the next ten seconds, I just want to. Can I get everyone's attention? Well, put please? your seatbelt on. <laughs> if God, if God, hey, I don't know what the symbol is, but if if God turns off the air, ladies and gentlemen, please put your seatbelt on. <laughs> Put By your the way, seat belt on. I, 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 I asked God all. just turned off the air. <laughs> Put your seat belt on and hug the person next to you. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's an ungodly thing getting on these things, and, and people are dying all the time. And... 
I just like we don't pay any attention to it. We're just like, do you, do you think the guy in the cockpit has a degree in this shit? Like he, he, I don't know. I don't think so. I think he's, I think he's wearing like a little Captain Crunch outfit, and like I. I <laughs> I, from my experience, like I don't, I, the average person is yeah. an idiot. Like just the average person, because the average IQ is 100. Yeah. Do you want a 100 IQ man flying your plane or lady? <laughs> nice say. Just as stupid as men. Give yourselves a hand. Uh, the, 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 he's just, I mean, it's like with the epaulets and the things, and it's like, it feels, feels like compensation, like, doesn't it? It's Man, like, oh. those epaulets. <laughs> wow. Those epaulets are really bringing me down, man. I just don't believe the way I What react is the thing my... about the epaulets? What, what, why the epaulets, though? What, 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 uh, there's no function there. They're, yeah, they're... What, what's up with those epaulets? Because if they dressed the way that they, only, at, at only the level that they needed to, you'd be even more freaked out because he would look like a Time Warner cable guy. So they, yeah. <laughs> so they have to Very look. true. We, we, we're more comforted when they dress like Captain Crunch. We think, okay, we this want guy, that, yeah. This guy, I, I want guess. more. I want more of that. Like if a guy with like two sets of epaulets came on, I would be, holy shit, we got a really good pilot here. And they kind of they kind of do like a good cop, bad cop thing. Yeah. Like if the stock is wavering, they're like, we got to amp this up. Let's do a scenario seven. So there's like a guy comes on with epaulets and he goes, uh, we're we're going to, we're everybody buckle up. We're going to go over the Grand Canyon. And then another guy comes on with like two epaulets yeah. and goes like, get out of here. Get out of here. Go over the Grand Canyon. That's a big hole. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that, front. ladies and I'd gentlemen. Be front, like, yeah, come yeah. on. Thank you for flying United. I'm Captain. No, Colonel. <laughs> John Jomerblum. Yeah. We're going to fly around the Grand Canyon. Nice. Like you should when there's a big hole in the earth. That's the whole point of a plane, to not crash into shit. Don't yeah. fly over the Grand Canyon. Yeah. I'm going to fly around it. You can buckle fl- up. You know what? Don't buckle up. <laughs> Because Stand. it won't matter. Turn do, the light off. Do jumping jacks. Take two iPads, plug them both in, and rub them on a laptop, and and do little Elvis kicks. Because if I'm doing my job right, that's what you can do. Because that's what rich people do when they get in their private jets. They don't have seatbelts on. Let's those make things. an OK Go video right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna turn this shit upside down, Denzel style. De- Denzel. <laughs> Denzel. Denzel. Yeah, Denzel. I know. It's just, you reduce him in stature. It's Denzel. Denzel. You make, you make him sound like a, a forgotten reindeer. <laughs> I'm Dasher. I'm Prancer. Denzel. Denzel, whatever. You can, you're, you're there for redundancy in case yeah. D- D- Dasher and Prancer like have yeah. a bad back. Denzel, yeah, Denzel comes off the bench. Yeah. If... if, if. <laughs> If, if if Blitzen has a sore hoof, uh, or Sully, hey, so so Cody uh, Cody got uh, she got an Uber from my place after we got home from the airport, and her Uber driver's name was Strategy. Was it really? Yeah, I know it was Strategy. Well, I mean, was it? I, it was on the screen. Yeah, I, I had a I had an Uber a guy named Beethoven. <laughs> These are guys who obviously, in their former name, they did something really terrible <laughs> as an Uber driver, and they switched Uber accounts. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 St- yeah. Strategy. That's good. Yeah. That's their other Reddit account. <laughs> because you never know. Like, like well, can people see what I... Do you go on Reddit? Do you... Do you, do you have you stopped doing that? Do you, do you look at your Reddit for porn? Or for... <laughs> Reddit has porn? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it has uh, it has it is a highly sorted, curated, hierarchically <laughs> arranged porn with, <laughs> and you can comment on it and get upvoted and downvoted. It's of everything you could ever gain from Reddit is is okay. as applicable as to porn as everything else. Uh, Duncan, Tr- no, I don't really, I don't really frequent Reddit because I'm a narcissist and I haven't like I I, I the, 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 my favorite. Th- thing about reddit was like you know go to community and the rick and morty and the dan Harmon and stuff and i just it's too i'm i'm, I'm too loathsome a person to 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 and too narcissistic to to continue to 
disappoint people as a human being on this level and then also read about myself incessantly. (laughs) Uncle Dennis is here. I, say, I have a real Uncle Dennis. I, I, I met him. I'm bad at making up names. So no. <laughs> for Uncle Dennis, if he's, I brought Uncle Dennis to your improv show. Yeah, it was fun. And he, yeah, he had a blast because <clears throat> he's a fan. And it was a very funny show. Thank you. You and Ryan Stiles did the uh, did uh, Neil Diamond and Gordon Lightfoot singing a duet, and it was really funny. Remember when we went to see Neil Diamond in Las Vegas? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we went we went to see Remember this? Do you remember I mean, we yeah, went no, to see I, Well, I remember I didn't go, but I I You was, didn't go? You I was there? on mushrooms and you came back from the <laughs> concert and it was like 3 hours on a hotel room floor <laughs> listening to Rob describe the Neil Diamond concert. Yeah. That was my Neil Diamond that was, concert. That I, was the I, best. I, I got to, That was the best. I got to go backstage with Sam Simon who got us the tickets and he, and uh, we we met uh, we met Neil Diamond for the show, and I was really excited about that. And uh, as I've, I've seen, like at that point, I said, like I, I think I've seen him eight times in concert. At that, I think that was my sixth time. And so I, I meet Neil Diamond right before the show. And I go, hey, uh, Mr. Diamond, it's a pleasure to meet you. This is my, this will be my sixth time seeing you. And he takes my hand. And he goes, a fan. <laughs> awesome. And then, and then the, the grooviest part of it was that his. Uh, uh, his assistant, like this big bouncer guy, like his kind of like handler and like bodyguard guy, g- had a wind up like disposable camera, and, and goes get together, and he took like snap, 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 wind, 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 snap, and, and and then gave me the camera, and he goes keep it. <laughs> so Neil Diamond, Neil rad. Diamond has become a, a human wedding. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He but, gave it, he right. gave, and he gave you a mason jar, and he's like, "Look, free refills, and then and then you can you can use it at home." So, like, I, I, when I would go see Neil Diamond in concert, I would always try to predict what the first song he would sing would be. And and, and I, I, one time I was right about it, but usually you're not right because he's got a million songs. Um, so we we're leaving him, and uh, it was me, Drew, Carrie, Sam, and I think Nick Vinay was back there too because our friend like produced like Neil Diamond a long time ago or something. And uh, we're leaving, and I said, "Well, hey, have a great show. I'll give him hell out there." And he goes, "Neil Diamond goes like what?" <laughs> <laughs> like I, I was leaving, and the, the director of Saving Silverman was there. Like, like, like they just made that movie, so he was talking to him. And I go, "Give him hell," and he goes, "What?" I go, "Give him hell, man. Like, ha- have a good show." He was like, "We will." <laughs> And he's like, give me a weird look. I'm like, okay, all right, man. No, I mean, like, like, knock him dead. Like, give him hell. He's like, what? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> How dare you? So, so we leave, and Sam is like, what the fuck was that about? I'm like, I don't know. The first song, it was a new song he had called Give Him Hell. Uh, totally accidental. He thought you were, he thought he's you like, were like, how like do you Napster. fucking know he this thought you were. <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to fucking know that, Jack. How did that leak? Yeah. How did that leak? Yeah. In a time of no leaks. <laughs> the IT guy told me it was airtight tonight. <laughs> Where am I on stage with you and I'm doing Neil Diamond? Uh, Can you auto tune Neil Diamond? Or that, how would that work? Yes, yes. <laughs> do, I, do I have a song that might work for that? Let's see. Wait, is it? I guess it. I don't know if I've got one that would work. Fine. We've been traveling far (laughs) Without a home Oh wait, our home is the uh, village of mushrooms Because I sound like a smurf No, I think the answer is you can't do Neil Diamond Out of tune my my friend Johnny Polanski is a I, I played some of his music on the show before. He was he's a session guitar player and he did a, a I think twelve songs it was like one of Neil Diamond's last records with Rick, is that Rick Rubin maybe, and uh, so he he worked with Neil for a few weeks and I'm a as I say like I'm a giant Neil Diamond fan so I made him tell me a thousand stories. Neil would come in every morning without his toupee, and he wear a, a denim jumpsuit, like like a onesie. <laughs> I'd like just denim, and then he, and, he, and he, at like ten a.m. he'd have a cognac, like and, Jean and a, Jammas. <laughs> oh, sorry, Jean Jammas. Like Jean Jammas. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> what? What? Just keep doing that. <laughs> that makes me so happy. 
but uh, so so he would just come in with like brandy and a cigar, and he would talk. He, he never talked to my friend Johnny, and. Uh, when Johnny was finally done, he was wrapped on it and he was packing up his guitar and leaving for the final day. Neil comes out of the booth and he's like, hey, you're Johnny, right? He goes, yeah. He goes, look, I'm sorry. I, I didn't really get to talk to you that much. Uh, but it was really a pleasure working with you and if I ever do another record, I want you to be on it because you're, I, I, like your, I, like, I like what you do. And Johnny's like, thanks, man. I, I, absolutely. And he goes, Johnny, let me tell you something. You're a real motherfucker. And I mean that. And I mean that in the best possible way. You could I you could do worse. Yeah, fucking Neil you Diamond. You could do worse than Neil oh Diamond God. calling you a I, motherfucker. Look, look, I, um, despite all outward appearances, I'm straight, but I would I would make out with Neil Diamond. I would fucking make out with Neil Diamond. I would have made out with Bowie. Bowie and Neil, I would have fuck. I would totally make out with. Uh, but that's it. Where's Spencer? Oh, Spencer is uh, taking Spencer a huge is, shit. Spencer is, feels like shit, and we said we text him. He said, "I'm gonna bow out of the show tonight." And we, uh, he said, I, "I feel like shit." And we said, "Someone said like diarrhea," and 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 he said, "It takes more than that to keep me down," <laughs> or something like that. I paraphrase, yeah. but so whatever it is, it could be emotional diarrhea. You know, the price of Spencer psychologically, you know, like like being Spencer. I mean, can you imagine what goes on up there? So that's I, I mean. had a pretty good colonic this morning. <laughs> You know what? You know what? Wait, 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 put a pin in that for one second. <laughs> I did. You did put a pin in it. Is that why you needed the no, high you, yeah. Are you one of those guys? The needles and the and the one ball of point? those guys. I'm your friend. <laughs> <laughs> wait. I want to know why you put a pin in Rob's pretty well, good colonic. Well, because, because I was going to – I do think it's kind of funny the idea that the O.J. Simpson thing is dominating the Emmys because when you looked at the credits of that of that very enjoyable show, it was like literally everybody – like 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 if that show sweeps the Emmys, it's almost sort of like a – like everybody worked on that. Like they, weren't there like Brillsteins and Grays and the and also like people that d- don't even like, like like they were like it was it was the the, the guy the Larry uh, Kaczynski and the Scott Alexanders and the like the, the it was like the, every single human being that had ever made anything for television or movies had had some kind of like credit on that right. show. So that, now they're like sweeping the Emmys and it's like Which are they what, happy or sad about that? Is this like, the, is this the uh, Travolta one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just wonder, you know, they, they go to the parties and there's like 500 people and they all have Emmys and it's like, you guys already had them or, or Oscars and like, 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 and, and you didn't beat any of each other. So there's no satisfaction there. They must be bummed out. That's my thing. I bet they're like going to each other in like smaller groups and going like, man, this Emmy's worth nothing. I know, right? Because the guy we hated is also working on it. Yeah. All right. I guess, I guess, I guess I am different than the audience. I guess I do think about different shit. I'm just speaking. Maybe, of, maybe I'm an artist. Speaking of different shit, Rob, let's talk about your. Okay, colonic. let's talk about this high colonic. We can edit high out my colonic? shitty observations about no, the it was, Emmys. It was good. Have you ever tried these colonics? They're great. Not a I, I've only only never a high one. What's a high colonic? I don't. I've never. I never. I don't know what a. high It seems colonic like a, is. if if it's high, you're doing I, it wrong. I don't know what you're talking about. I just have no, a isn't regular. That the, the high colonic is the. Yeah. You yeah. So you go to somebody and they put a they put a hose up your butt. What happens? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I went to this. The, I went to the lady, and she and she. I've been going for a while, and I was a little skeptical, but I, I'm, I'm all right with it. It's not too bad. It's good. It's good. She, she, she did say the first time I did it. It's like I don't use an adult one. I use a child <laughs> applicator, and I was like, does that mean it's like the size of a little boy's dick? <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Oh, my. Wait. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. I, I, that was a roller coaster ride. Can I rewind a little okay. bit on that one? I thought, I, thought you were, I thought you were being flattered because she was implying that your butthole was as tight as a little boy's. But then you wouldn't even... F- we- I don't know what's going on behind my back. All she said is, like, use, most, most colonic... Doctors use well. She's not a doctor, but most colonic. She's just some person sculptor. I met <laughs> at a bar somewhere. <laughs> she's just, yeah, she said she, said, most she does colonic. tarot readings and then right, 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 yeah. And then said, weirdly, but I use a child whether it's one. the fool or the death card. She's yeah. like, you know what that means. She's you got, saying you got a lot of extra shit. In your she butt. said, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you the child one because that's better than the adult one. But your thing is that you think it was supposed to be I more like it a was little because it's smaller. more like a little boy's penis. Well, not a little girl's. 
<laughs> you think the colonic instrument is, is, is built on being a dick? Girth? Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean... Maybe I, I, I'm just assuming. I'm just I don't know. How I, I've never had a colonic, so like they, they, they're great. <laughs> but you sounded tentative. You said it was only pretty good. They're pre- I, I, it wasn't too bad. It was all right. I, like, I, I mean, like I, 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 I mean, I, 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 I feel they, a they lot insert, healthier. Do they insert the instrument yes. up your butt? Yes. Like, like, and so you got the baby one. I got the baby be, because one because of your. Delicious type well, did she, little asshole. Well, no, she, she didn't. She said, your words, not mine. She, well, she it's said something I really love. She right. said it's other nice. my colleagues use a larger gauge right. of uh, right. animator right. diameter. Uh, animator. I, the, the, the animator. <laughs> yeah. Because the enema of my enema is my friend. Yeah. <laughs> I keep my, I yeah. keep my enemas close. Yeah. I keep my emanator even closer. Keep your yeah. friends close. Keep your enemas closer with the new tw- triple gauge animator. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. Okay. So r- really, you're not giving us any of the information that we actually want, which is why. What? What? What did, what did you do? Or, 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 what? What does a person that goes and gets a clonic? What? What are they experiencing that makes them want to go get one? I, I have Itchiness? a parasite. You have a parasite? Yeah, I'm trying to get rid of all of the graboids in my intestinal tract. <laughs> what the fuck? For you millennials, those are the monsters from Tremors. Yes. <laughs> no, I, 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 I've got a, para- I have got a parasite. A, you you got a sandworm in your butt? I have a sandworm in my butt. No, you, in, my, in my intestinal tract. Yeah. What, what is it, a tapeworm? It could be. I don't know. I'm not necessarily sure. But I've been I've been taking like massive amounts of. I haven't been I haven't been very well. How for come? The last how couple how of come months. you have been? You have been since the age of thirty, like like obsessed with cleaning your butthole. Yes. To the point where you've scalded it in yes. the past, and we've we yes. just we've, go back through the archives. We've case. covered this several times. <laughs> Meanwhile, I I could be said certainly. That Superman's Lex Luthor. Like I, uh, I am, I am not from that planet. Right. I, if anything, I push the limits of right. of, of, of 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 what you should do when. Like but, I, 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 but you gave yourself I think, an I think some some cavemen if transported through time, observing me for a week would go, dude. <laughs> It's a butt. You gotta wipe it more than that. You're gonna go back out and collaborate with your friends? But you, you, you gave yourself an accidental colonic in your bathtub back in the day. Yes, like, I did. I will, I will never forget it. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Accidental? How, how? Accidental? Because I had jets in my tub that I was excited to use. I bought a new house. There were jets. So your ass was up against the side of the tub? Yeah, because, well. <laughs> yeah, but, well, dot, dot, dot. Explain that. Well, what is yeah. it? No, I did. I explained it on the podcast. I mean, I, 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 look, I'm not. He would jerk off, but he would get his butt up against the jet. And he it would... wasn't an accident. No, no it wasn't. <laughs> but... He put his ass up against the jet, and then he was surprised that it was weird. No, I, I, I was surprised when was water went up my asshole and filled me up like a water balloon. Because <laughs> yes. it, Because before that, all it did was tickle the rim and make me happier. <laughs> I, but then one day I like I just I flew too close to the sun as Jeff said and I and I was like I was scissoring and like like I, I, I you know you 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 get used to shit. This is why I'm afraid to fly because the guys in the cockpit like it's like how soon before you start to take technology for granted? Like 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 you know these guys are like how do you know the guy in the cockpit? You don't know like, what they're doing in the cockpit. The exactly. doors closed. They could be treating it like a DVR. They're just like scoop it, scoop it, scoop yeah, it. Yeah yeah. Oh, I don't know. It usually does this and I. I was like, so, oh yeah, so I had gotten accustomed to like, okay, yeah, a little jet on my little, on my little poo-poo. Uh, you I'm ain't a, hurt no one. Like, like no, it's like, Ain't it's nobody's like, business oh, but your own. There's a little stimulation down there where there's some extra nerve endings. Also, you, you were super excited back then because you were taking baths daily. Yeah. You were the, you were. And that's why. You were shining like the Chrysler building. Yes. <laughs> this is, a lot of people, a lot of diehard fans are like, why am I being punished for being a fan? I know all this, you know, it's like, <laughs> like, 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 we need a little Stan Lee in the corner to just. Just like have it be on the video feed with him coming up and going like, you, Webheads will remember that 
<laughs> yeah, Dan got a tub and was fucking jerking off like a, like a crazy person, like, and had discovered like jets on his butthole. And then one day, I was like, I went too far, and the setting was too high, and it just like. It's that difference, you know, when you take a water balloon and, like, you can, if you hold it underneath the faucet and just turn on the faucet, like, no water's going to go in that water balloon. And then there's that day where that moment, like, I just, like, all of a sudden, and it's like a binary thing. It's either happening or not. And, like, it was just, like, all of a sudden I was like, oh, yeah, what? Like, I, I was like, like... <laughs> There's there's probably people in the audience who know who are more who are who who are more uh, you know they they take their butt for more of a ride you know like 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 they're more they're more experts in this kind of off roading thing they're like yeah I know exactly what happened your V8 got in the front wheel drive and like like that happened to me in Kentucky on a on a, on a four wheeler and I, I but but I, I was like this was the I was I was just I was a newcomer to the whole involving the button anything other than than the the the, the just the for sure. The, the, yeah, the, the, and, so, the, and, so and, so, and so all of a sudden I had the sensation that I've never had before, which is the which was the in, in reverse the sensation of pooping. <laughs> it was as I, like, like all of a sudden there was just like all so, so much like just filling me up in a in a, in a place where you, I was like what and I, I like got up out of the tub and like went over to the toilet instinctively and sat down on it and I was like and then like this, like flood came out and I was like oh I just gave myself an accident. Tall enema. And how did you feel? It's pretty good. Pretty good. It was good. Has the, has the show really become this easy? <laughs> Fuck it. Where, where, where are our standards anyway? <laughs> it's, it's Emmy night, folks. All the craftsmen are at parties. And crafts ladies. <laughs> crafts ladies. Um, except for, I guess, UCP not doing so good. <laughs> when do you leave us for a, for a Lego? Movie? January. Yeah? Yes. You're going to be gone for a while? Two years? No. Where are you guys shooting now? Shooting. <laughs> it's in, in Vancouver. Can- Canada. You know. Do you it's think, only, it's do you only two hours away. You'll come visit, right? What's up with those delays we read about in the trades? What did you do wrong? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, and I can't say anything about it. It was in the it papers. Anyway. It said Lego movie go, to fucking delayed. Fucking. Uh, director uh, on colonic binge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, taking, I'm taking a year off for uh, massive colonics. <laughs> A tune-up, like Chevy. It's just a, a tune-up. Up. Yeah, just a tune-up. <laughs> a tune-up. I like, I mean, look, if he's in rehab, but in the article I read, it said Chevy was going in for alcohol-related problems. Right. Uh, alcoholism. Yeah. Yeah. He did, however, somebody pointed out, he did leave a very, uh, very concise, uh, I think Chevy, you know, like, he would. he's the last person to... What, uh, if you if you listed his crimes or or bad qualities, then no, definitely not on that list would be like uh, shame. Like he's not like he 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 loves as long as long as it's funny. Like he'll share stuff and kind of. I don't think it was his idea to like downplay it or or well in double speak the idea of going into rehab because he left a. Uh, it was on his uh, what's that dumb thing that's like to Twitter for celebrities who who say. Like, like it's like, oh, you're famous. Why should you do what normal people do? Like, like that, 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 that selfie you took might be worth money one day. Don't give that away. I, isn't that what that thing is? I don't know. Did I just get sardonic about something for no reason? <laughs> All I know is it was, it was, it was like a little paragraph, and he said, uh, "I'm going in because my love of vodka needs to be something." I'm paraphrasing, but it was, it was, it was. It was all very clear. He was, okay. like, he was like, "I'm going in because my fa- my family's. I don't want them to have to worry about me and like like all that stuff." I don't know how that tune up stuff. That's probably some spokesman who, yeah. with it, it, trying to do their job the right way, trying to protect and all the stuff and mitigate. Like, and then it gets then that becomes the funny thing. It's like, get this. He's going in for a tune up. Why are you sitting over there? Why did you go? <laughs> are you like the new Spencer? Is that the? That they, they, they... No, I'm I'm the old Rob. <laughs> don't, oh, no, don't like. No. That's what you're doing. Like, I, I, no, I'm telling... don't do that. I was. Not... Don't feel bad. No, it isn't bad, sir. It's it's, it's very good. Oh.
Oh, God. Oh, okay. All right. I, I like it over here. I don't, okay. Here, I don't, I don't, I don't like... Don't fight me. You're so, you're so sweaty. <laughs> Why are you that moist? Every, you're, you're sitting down. Because every day is sixth grade for me. That's why. No. Finally. Now I. Can I sup at that trough? Uh, I don't like that the flight attendant welcomes you to the city that you're arriving in with them. It just seems. It's just a little bit of a needless mind fucky like bullying thing. Yeah, I'll call it what it is. Bullying. Why is it bullying? When the bully- flight attendant goes, Why welcome it- to Chicago. And it's like, you just got here too, motherfucker. Why is that bullying, though? Why is that bullying? Be- because the unspoken part of that is, you newbie. You piece of shit that would, that if the plane crashed, would fall for the f- uh, float cushion thing while I sprung out in a Inspector Gadget parachute. You, you might be reading into that a little. You might might be reading into that. I think they're just trying to be nice to you. Welcome to welcome to Chicago. They say. Yeah. Yeah. They. I also don't like. I guess. I guess there's no direct flights from Los Angeles to Milwaukee. But I get. And I, I was there's like, it's, it's a real drag. No. Like you can't. For real? Yeah. No. Wow. But I guess that's. I. I was thinking. I was thinking about. It, I was like, well, okay. So we're flying from LA to Phoenix, and then from Phoenix to Milwaukee, and that's. That might be better, I guess, because like, well, if you're flying from Los Angeles to Milwaukee, like. Statistically speaking, like the reason for that is that something's gone wrong. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So- Southwest, yeah. I think. I or, think Southwest yeah. goes direct. Is the only direct flight to Milwaukee, but they suck. Are they the ones that do the comedy? The com- yes, the, the, they uh, they do like the 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 fucking Muppet voices and Donald Duck shit. It's just <laughs> a piece of shit. It's like a bus with wings. They just like go, hey. Get on board. I hope you get a seat. And somebody's sitting on the floor. So There's the two people with chickens next to you. It's the worst. I, I got on a plane a few days ago. Where was I coming back from? I forget. Uh, and I was, I walked up to the gate right at boarding time. I didn't know if I was late or early or whatever. And I said, are you boarding? Uh, she said, yeah, priority. Are you, are you priority? I'm like, yeah, I'm first class. I got on. I was the first person on. The plane. I, I didn't know that was not intentional. I thought maybe I was a couple minutes late. I found a twenty dollar bill on the jet bridge, like on the mm. walkway, mm. and I just went, "Ed doing? Can I if I can put that in the old pocket?" <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> and I get on the plane, and then there's two flight attendants there, and they're like, "Oh, are we, are we boarding already?" I, I didn't realize we were boarding. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, we're right, right this way. Like, where, where's your seat? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm in two A. And I sat down, and like, I was the very first person on. So it wasn't like somebody was on that plane and dropped that money. Maybe it was one of the flight attendants. I don't know. Um, so I'm sitting there, and I got the twenty dollars in my pocket, and we get up, we get in the air, and the f- the flight attendant comes down through all the people in first class. Hey, did somebody drop twenty dollars? Meaning like, we're like, I was like, no. <laughs> I, I, did, I did not drop twenty dollars. I did the opposite of dropping. Well, $20. I did. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like. I, I, like that meant it was hers, right? But she was trying to lay a little trap there, like, oh, no, I found twenty dollars, and she would go, "Mine." What? I don't know. I don't know. But like, like did somebody else drop twenty dollars too? It was very like confusing. She thought, for me. She's like, "I lost twenty dollars." Well, I know if I ask if anyone found it, the answer will be no. But maybe if I say, "Has anyone lost twenty <laughs> Somebody would go, oh, I feel so guilty it's about like this. It's like when you're Why mugged, somebody... you're supposed to yell fire instead of... But then of I, went and, I went and bought my girlfriend uh, cigarettes with it. Uh, $20 cigarettes? I got her a couple packs. How long are they? <laughs> the, 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 they're the extra longs. Uh, but then she, we, we walked out and she goes, you know, that, like, that, that was counterfeit. I'm like, what? She's like, that was it was printed all wrong. And the borders were all fucked up. <laughs> it's like, I think I, I think I picked up and stole and Wait, then used okay. so, counterfeit so, twenty dollars. I think like 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 so, some like some major awesome like criminal was like taking that plane and was dropping counterfeit twenty like they, like a bullet hole in his duffel bag or hers. <laughs> 
uh, like 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 was was like hemorrhaging counterfeit twenties or something. Yeah, yeah. And that and that so that so that it was that, that that you found one, and then someone else found another one. It was like is someone dropping twenties all over the place, and there's like a guy bleeding out in in, uh, in coach. So like just another martini. Uh, uh, no, no, haven't seen any errant twenties. <laughs> Well, because he got shot? In, in, yeah, like, I don't know. I'm not going to make up the to, whole story. To live story. and die in L.A. kind of thing? Yeah. 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 To live and die in L.A. Yeah. Fine. I'm derivative. All right. But the, wow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so defensive. Yeah. You're, you're not I just der- came back from Milwaukee. I have like a lot of like... It's I, so- I got along with my mom for two days, so now I'm back here and I'm like, what do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? <laughs> uh, it, it had to go somewhere. It is an amazing city because like I met the nicest people and like, like just like... Like people that were there to see my show, but also are fans of Harmontown or Rick and Morty, whatever. There is this awesome openness and sweetness to the Midwest and to Milwaukee in particular, but also a lot of like, weird, like not not shame or self, it was just self <laughs> self effacing, right? Yes. Like, yeah, you're, you're, yes. You, they, 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 they diminish themselves in your eyes. <laughs> I, I, uh, uh, but yes, uh, because the people who draw focus get kicked out <laughs> of Milwaukee, uh, like me and Shrub. No, it's uh, it, 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 yeah, it's like it, it's 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 very similar. I mean, it's geographically and I think genetically and culturally, and psychologically and spiritually, like a very close cousin to Canada. I mean, it's like you're mm-hmm. you're right up there. You're you're a hop, skip, and a jump. You're in a very cold. You're in a climate that's like inhospitable. Like you're in God's cross. Well, if, you, if you if you if you get cocky then the question becomes why are you so cocky why don't you go somewhere warm so the answer has to be don't get cocky don't get cocky right. that has to be the mantra of of of, of a more seasonal climate um and uh and milwaukee's like they, so so on the surface of it there's this wonderful humility and 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 camaraderie fraternity or sorority <laughs> You are fucking nailing it tonight. I'm, uh, I'm fucking like I, 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 I'm, I'm inclusiving the fuck out of tonight. <laughs> like t- tomorrow's uh, headlines are going to be like Dan Harmon included everybody <laughs> after the fact. Yeah, well, yeah. It, yeah, asterisks were flying and and, and all, all benefited. Women were were receiving their their alms. Um, <laughs> On the tales of sentences with a with appendaged uh, uh, addenda, um, d- c- caps were doffed to the fairer sex uh, at a speed uh, uh, comparable only to the, the bionic uh, 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 advocate <laughs> of a lesser known franchise from the seventies. <laughs> the bionic advocate, gentlemen, we can rebuild him with an understanding that women are human. <laughs> Take that, corrupt lumberjack. You could have been a woman. Or or lumberjill. <laughs> okay. All right. He plussed it. Uh, wait, no, what is that? Okay, well, yeah, uh, like... If, if you're there for, I mean, it's like the, the surface of 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 that of that of that Milwaukee thing. It's like it's it's really beautiful because it's, I understand. I think it, it's it's, like, a, it's a great city. It's a great, by a great lake. It's a great place by a great lake. That's so dumb. Uh, <laughs> it's well, a great place by a great lake. Yeah. Okay. I mean, what All do you right. want? All right. <laughs> I wanted a better motto. We can't, we, we we can't just say we make the beer. <laughs> Because we largely don't anymore. They don't make the beer. Yeah. Anyways, it, it, the, underneath it, there's it, it come it, because it comes from, I think, self-loathing. So it's like so there's like benefits to there's a cushion on top of you when you uh, arrange yourself around a religion of humility. Like you're like, who am I to say? Who am I? That's like a very Midwestern thing. Like what do I know and all this stuff. But that doesn't automatically make you a good person. <laughs> And it doesn't automatically mean a conversation with you, like like everyone walks away not having their soul stolen, like like because because when that's your religion, it's like also like well then it's you you have to kind of question everything. You have to question all ambition. You have to question it's like and there's no such thing as a, a typical anything. So not, don't get offended if you're listening in Milwaukee and going this isn't me. You don't understand anything. I'm I'm just talking about a, a, a artificial construct, a median. Uh, but that's my that's my kind of feeling about that. 
that compass is like oh yeah on one hand like i'm so grateful i grew up somewhere where you're you're it's a crime to think that you're all that like it's just a straight up fucking social crime that especially back then was like way higher than when we, 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 we were still just when 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 the definition of feminism was still believing women can do better uh the 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 the, the, the it was like we first and foremost were like don't get cocky. Like, like our, your friend, your old friend, and now my new-ish friend, Dave Friedel, his toes are falling off. Like he's got no toes on one of his feet. He has. We call him Friedel, and now he has several free toes. And it's nine eleven. <laughs> All right. Don't cheer but, that. But, A lot of people died. But, but he he. Uh... A lot of people died um, in that day. Don't don't cheer it. Please don't cheer it. But Friedel... It's offensive. Friedel handles that with such, like... like I don't get why people were cheering. <laughs> they were like, ooh, woo, woo, yeah. Our, 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 Isn't that cool? Our, our, our audience, Rob, I don't know if you know this, is mostly Al-Qaeda. <laughs> <laughs> We got a couple. We got a couple ISISs. But it's mostly old school, just straight up Taliban. They actually, that's why I, I, I have I have Al Qaeda like parasites. That's why I was doing the. I think that was Candida, though. The fuck are you talking about? Candida. What? What? Do you think there's places in like like little cloisters where where like like sleeper cells or caves or whatever we're supposed to wherever the people that are like the the Adams family the in our mythology that like the the they uh, like uh, does you think nine eleven is like Cinco de Mayo like they like they kind of like like it's more like there's like like there's kind of like a little like like there's a do you think there's a color I think scheme it's, no I think it's just our audience <laughs> <laughs> the cheers for nine and thousands of people in New Jersey thousands. <laughs> I saw it. I saw it. <laughs> and Barack Obama was born in the United States, period. Can we please get back to what we were talking about? <laughs> Can you believe that fucking guy? He's the best. He's He's like, the oh, best. I'm sorry. Are we annoying you with our birther shit? What is he? He's out of his mind. He's going to become my hero. <laughs> He's fucking like just doing donuts. Uh, it's, uh, like, 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 it's just, like, like, there's only a, there's a certain point where he becomes a Duke of Hazard. <laughs> It's, it's like you go from, from like, oh, you're a lying piece of shit, and then all the of a sudden you Duke just go, wait, you're... The Duke of Hazard. <laughs> I'd like to see that prequel. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the, the Duke, Duke of, Hazard. of Hazard. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I am the Duke of Hazard. <laughs> I, here's Sergeant Lee, my car... <laughs> Sergeant? Oh, he was back before he was a general. Before he was a general. Oh, oh, I didn't know that, 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 that General Lee was originally an enlisted car. Yes. <laughs> he rose the ranks Holy all shit, the way. Holy shit, did you see that giant, giant cockroach, giant cockroach giant. fucking crawling on the wall? Anybody see that in the front? That, if, it, if I could see it from here, I'm further back than you. A- am I in danger? Was it by me? What happened? No, it was crawling on yeah. the red wall. It's, it's over by... It's it's over by Steve Levy's head. It's probably an important time to announce that the the meltdown is opening a restaurant uh, <laughs> called, called the, the 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 patty meltdown. That was a big fucking cockroach. <laughs> the patty meltdown. That that was a big cockroach. That was a that was a big enough cockroach that that might have been a bat. Yeah. Like, uh, we're not sure. That it's, was like a shadow. It was bigger than my thumb, I'll tell you that. I don't like bugs. I don't like them. You guys I, are... I had a spider go into my ear one time and I almost lost my fucking mind. You, told, you told the story on the podcast before yeah. you... Before yeah, you. yeah. Okay. The, but in the control room, you don't have to worry. It went up and diagonal, so it's above your heads. Yeah. Don't worry about yeah, it. Don't worry. Yeah, don't worry. It, it might just descend on you at a moment's notice. It would, yeah. have to be, it would have to be a tremendously heavy, unwieldy cockroach to fall on you. It would, it would, its body would have to have so much mass that its its legs designed to yeah. anchor itself yeah. in uh, in the ceiling would would be would be unable to do so, and that's a roach that would yeah. just be off the grid, a rogue if, roach. If there's one of them, there's like a thousand more in the wall, but a none, thousand. With, none with none with nothing to lose yeah. like that one. 
You guys also, are about to get creep show. Also, that, that, that cockroach is, I think, like one day away from retirement. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Having hunted itself to near extinction, like having, 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 having boxed out all the other roaches by beating them to the dried droplets of milk under every refrigerator, and now it's just like, I, don't, I have yeah. nowhere to go. I'm, yeah. like, I'm, like, I'm like the hustler. <laughs> like I was like, there's no Minnesota fats out here for me, and it's just like, now it's just cr- climbing walls like a spider. Just kind of like, what do I do? Eat a bird now? <laughs> do, I, do I discover fire? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think I've got like six hours left in my lifespan. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm bursting with babies. I, I should probably just, I should probably just fall into Steve Levy's hair backstage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Or write, or write that book. <laughs> Got to write that book. <laughs> Got to write that. <laughs> oh, write that book. Oh, you know, what? if I could give the cockroach any advice, write the book. Yeah. Write the book. Write the book. You don't have you all don't, the time in you, the world. You think you've got more time than you do? You do not. I'll go further than that. Work with a collaborator because you're busy. You're a busy cockroach. Yeah. You're, 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 you're running Rick and Morty. You're, you're trying. It's like, you're not like, a like, cockroach. Like have, it's not a ghostwriter. It's not the same thing. It's a person that's there to help keep you on target and. Yeah. Yes. Like move you along. Are you? How's your book coming along, Dan? Very well. <laughs> <laughs> What's your out. book? I don't know what you're talking what, about. What? Cares, what are you matter. talking about? I care. No. It's a, it's will a, you, it's a book. Will you tell it. me later? What's it about? Is, is I don't it, know, man. I'm making it up as I go. It's just a book. I'm like, oh, one time I fucking took a shit in a tree, and then I'm like, oh, here's a ten funny ways to make a pound cake. I don't know. <laughs> It's like it's print is dead. You just make shit up. You took you a it. shit in a tree? Yeah. I just, oh, no, or did I? Maybe I'm just trying to move books. I don't know. I don't even know who I am anymore. I've become more brand than you. What's human. the What's the title of the the book? What is the title of the book, Dan? You do that last. You it's, do called that last. The, uh, it's called the, the, the Poopin' Tree. I'll put it on you the You do that list. last? You come up with the title last. Who does? The Royal You. The person writing the book. You go. You you write the book, and then you go. Now, what should this be called? That's what how it happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in my opinion, if you're doing it right, yeah. Okay. Wait. Okay. Well, because well, here's a here's a here's an example of why not why to do it that way. Okay. Like, like, the alternative would be okay. I'm gonna write a book, and it's gonna be called the boy who fought a shark. Okay. okay. All right. So then you start writing. Okay. Once upon a time, there was a boy. Mm. Oh, and then he went to the beach. Oh. Oh, and then he fought a shark. Okay. What? Why? Wow. Right. Page yeah. one. He fights the shark on page fights one. Fights the shark. He went yeah. to the so beach now and you're fought like, a shark. I'm fucked. Oh yeah, yeah. And then you're like, here's the thing about fighting a shark. It's really hard. And then you're like, God, God damn it, mm. God damn it. And then you're like, just the title fucked you. Just right. write. And then right. Then come up with a name later. Right, right, right. I shouldn't have to tell you guys. You this. shouldn't. You shouldn't tell me. It. Um, if the book was done now. What would it be called? <laughs> uh, two paragraphs about uh, my uh, grade school principal. <laughs> You're only two paragraphs. And in- other stories. <laughs> <laughs> and other ways to date in this modern world. Uh, no, I don't know. It would be called... It would, no, I'm not going to... There is a conceit to it. I'm not going to tell you. Because that's... You, 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 this is, when, when did the show become you guys violating my NDAs? All right. <laughs> That's, that, that, that's always been our show. Yeah. Uh, you know, my favorite scene in the Steve Jobs movie uh, is the, it's the one. Thank you. It, it, it's it's the one where he's like where he where he's 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 on his deathbed. It's a very tender scene, and he's got and he goes like, "Wait, one more thing." Spoilers. You should you should be able to hold the send button down halfway, and then uh, and if you push it too hard, you you have to start over. And then, but if you then if you swipe up, you can send confetti. <laughs> and they're like, "Holy shit!" Right up to the bitter end, that guy with the fucking ideas. You just told us the end. Balloons, balloons, confetti. If you, but then if you swipe right, balloons. <laughs> Say the apple's lost its grip a little bit, <laughs> but I'm still buying the thing. Did you get the new phone? Uh, I, it's coming, but I'm t- you know. Have you installed the new so software? Yes. Huh? Do you have the new software? I don't think so. Can, have you? Do, can you see balloons and confetti when you, when I send them to you? No. Yeah, you gotta get that. You gotta get that upgrade, baby. <laughs> How's your iWatch? Your Apple Watch? At the office. Yeah. Yeah. That didn't 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 stick. It, just, it seemed really cool. <laughs> That uh, that Apple Watch seemed really cool. Speaking speaking, it of seemed t- so cool. It was cool. Like it was like a little 
a little phone on your wrist, but it was connected to your phone, right? Is that how it was? Yes. Apple Watch. <laughs> Seemed kind of cool. <laughs> Seemed kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, I yeah, I got into a rhythm of every time I believe these people, I my life improves. These and people, then, you know, that changes. <laughs> these people, yes, I'm yes, the Apple people. The Apple people. Uh, yeah, the Apple people. <laughs> Dan Harmon, we're coming to your house. We are the Apple people. We have this new watch we want to show you. It seems kind of cool. How would you like to wear it for maybe nine episodes? How did you get in here? Oh, Ed 209, I'm sorry. I, I just wanted to talk to Dan Harmon for a second. Apple we are the people. Apple people, yes. You are in violation of the United States Ordinance. Oh, shit. 3524. Oh, shit. I you dropped the gun. I dropped the comply. gun. I'm dropping it. Jesus Whoa. Christ. No, no. You have nine seconds to comply. Just let me go. I have a wife and children. Seven. Please. Six. Please, don't. Five. Jesus, somebody. Four. Help me. Three. Ro- Ronnie Cox, help me. Oh, two, my God. One. Oh, sh- f- f- oh, right. Go ahead. <laughs> oh. What? Oh. I've... Called your bluff. I I I forgot my gun. <laughs> I'm I'm only a prototype Ed 209 on trespassing duty. I'm just supposed to roar at people and give them 10 seconds to comply. It's, it's okay. I, I, I overstepped my bounds as an Apple person. It's I not do. you. <laughs> the system is flawed. There's a hey. direct implication that forced hey, me to be involved, hey, and hey. yet I can't back it up. Don't, 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 don't go there. You're not flawed. The system's not flawed. Oh. I'm just as much to blame as you. Don't, don't, don't beat yourself up. Ed, come on. Sit, sit on the couch with me for a second. I can't sit. <laughs> or climb stairs. And I was in the break room yesterday, and I heard the only reason I'm being manufactured is because of interference with a much more progressive anthropomorphized RoboCop project. Now, now, don't talk like that, Ed, Edward, please. That's not... You know I'm, a, something? I'm, a, I'm a piece of shit. No, I'm you're a not. Cautionary tale. No, you're not. Look in the mirror right now. Look in the re- mirror. Look at that. You know when I look when I look at your mirror. Look at that. Look at you. Yes. All you need is to comb your hair just a little bit. Look at that. Let's comb your hair, and maybe let's 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 flip this let's flip this collar up. <laughs> look at that. Hey, holy cow! Who's this handsome guy? <laughs> Look at this guy. Just, just, if you... Yeah. Yeah. You were objectifying me. No. Oh, no, 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 no. Using intimacy to no. make me feel better. No. But sending a larger message that our bodies are what define us. You have ten seconds to apologize. Ed, I know you don't have a gun, so this is all bullshit. I tried I to help you. I will hashtag this, and people will find out. All right, you know, I, I have, thought you were I a good have person, a gun but you're called. Uh, yep. A, a, a okay. Uh, yeah. Twitter. Yep. Okay. All right. Hey. Hey. Have a nice life, fuckface. What? Let's see. see. No. No. You see, you're a piece of shit, and I didn't want to say this before, but you're a fat ass fucking piece of. Fuck shit. Uh, you know? Uh, you don't have a gun. You look like shit. You flipped your collar over. You looked worse. You suck every dick in this building. Uh, and I know, because yeah, I talked to talking. I talked to the I talked to the sh- the person at the front counter. We all know. Yeah. You suck. Okay. So um I tried to be nice to you. This is why no one likes you, because you're a mm. fucking piece of shit. Yeah. By the way, say hello to Periscope. Okay, great. Because you're yeah. being Periscoped. Okay, oh no, oh and no, Facebook. oh no, oh no, yeah, you oh s- no. You, you just okay. slut shamed me. Yes. Uh, oh no, oh no, oh no, okay. Yeah, oh no. All right. Your reign is okay. over. Great, goodbye. Yeah. Goodbye. So. Goodbye, I'm closing the door. <laughs> 
Dear Facebook. (laughs) Is that how they start? About 10 seconds ago, I had a conversation with a colleague. We're not colleagues. We're not colleagues. I just came to the door looking for Dan Harmon. We're not colleagues. At this moment, I'm I'm afraid for my safety. I have no guns. I was built for enforcement, uh, and I walk like a chicken. It's how I was made, and until recently, I thought that was fine. (laughs) To make a note about figuring out that reaction, I... Felt like if there were lines crossed, they were crossed before that, but maybe I was being too nuanced or... Anyways, the video speaks for itself. Uh, this is what I have to deal with, and uh, now I don't know what I'm going to do. <sighs> also, hands. Hello? Hello, Ed. This is your mother. Mom, you're on speaker. I don't have fingers. So I just tapped the phone. Your father and I want to know if you're coming over this weekend. Mom, I'm going through some shit. Why are you going? What are you talking about? Just let us know if you're... It's a simple question. All you have to do is say, are you coming over? It's, not, I it's start- never a simple question with you. I need support right now, and I'm not... Well, I, then I, come o- I just need to know if I it should... I need to... I have to defrost the potato salad, and I have to start on Thursday because it's like a block of ice over here. <laughs> So are you coming or not? If you're not coming, it's fine. You, you know, you don't. There's only so many years left with your father. But uh, you know, if you don't want to, if you don't want to come over, it's fine. Mom, uh, mom. Yes. You don't recognize that as blackmail. <laughs> you don't recognize what you just did as emotional blackmail. I, I do. You have ten seconds to <laughs> acknowledge it's everything. That I don't you, even. You are a toxic person. Everything is ten seconds with you. Everything is 10 seconds with you when all I want is 24 hours on the weekend. Yeah, and during that 24 hours, what are you going to say? Why don't you have a boyfriend? <laughs> well, and the answer it, is complicated. Yes. Well, I mean, it just seems, you know, you know, that, you know, you're, a, you know, the, you're the top military item of the next year, and it just seems you should have a boyfriend at least. Something, you Mom, know? I don't expect you to understand when you talk like that, that you're hurting me. I don't know how to explain oh, I, it. Oh, I'm so terrible. I'm so terrible. I didn't say that, but if you I'm have... I'm so terrible. <laughs> William, will, if William will you hear this? Will you hear this, what oh your son God. is saying is to it? me right now? Will you, William, William, t- will t- you a- get a- on... Ask him if he's coming over. To, this is ask him if he's coming over. I already did, William, and oh. he, he said he's, he's going through some SHIT right now, and I just, I just, you know, all I wanted, all I wanted to know was to get a little bit of fair warning. Tell, so him, I, tell him I, you know, ironically, said he has 10 seconds to fucking grow a pair. <laughs> yes. Ed, Edward, would you please answer your father? Yes, yes, I'll come for Thanksgiving. Thank you. Okay. All right, now I'm going to go mow the lawn. Okay. (gasps) (gasps) William, (gasps) William, what's the matter? (gasps) William! (gasps) William! (gasps) What's going on over there? (gasps) Oh, honey! Honey, what? no! William! No. William, no! What's happening? Is Dad okay? Oh. William! Oh! William! Oh, honey! Oh! How do t- you give Tell me? Edward goodbye! What? Tell him he doesn't have to come! Edward, no, I no, have to oh, come. I'm, I'm, I'm on my to, way! No, it's too. Unprecedented. Oh. Unprecedented uh, hydraulic uh, uh, feature activated. <laughs> your power uh, resources are being tapped too much b- by your ambition. I don't care. <laughs> 
need I remind you you're running to people that have treated you like shit? It doesn't matter. <laughs> Super Turbo Leap. <laughs> You'll have to uh, connect in Phoenix. You won't be able to take a <laughs> direct leap there. Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! Welcome to Phoenix. You look like you just got here too. <laughs> You're inside me. I'm just being nice. I'm gonna fucking kill myself. <laughs> I need a... Uh, I need a flight to Phoenix. Yes, uh, uh, this, you're in boarding group one. Just remember that. Okay, that should be really easy. <laughs> Three hours later. Hello, at this point in time, we'd like to have a game of town. We'd like to have a, town, a premier group, Global Access, a Golden Star Members Alliance, something like that, the uniformed members in the security. So we got the... What the fuck? What? What did she say? <laughs> What did, I, did you, I don't know. I'm just waking up myself. <gasps> Ed 209. All right. You, you please don't tell anyone you saw me here. Yes. No, you don't even know who I am. Oh, I thought you were a fan. I'm, no. I, I, I'm the Apple person that you kicked out. Oh, my God. Yeah. Gerald. Yes. You're, you're the... <laughs> I was the person that tried to give you some self-esteem by combing your hair and popping your collar. And you were such a dick. I Excuse me. Boom. What? Uh, he, he just teleported. <laughs> I'm on the wing now because what? I don't like you. The wing of... The plane? Okay. You, yeah. You just... You really played fucking hellfire with my space work, man. I, 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 I'm now burdened with, like, yes ending you, but you didn't listen to me. I was in a terminal. I had not boarded yet. Also, how is this character going to have an arc? He was just a dick to me. I'm a, I'm it's not 20 years hey, later. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, hey. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't have to be this way. Flight attendant, there's a there's a there's a white male on the wing of the plane, uh, experiencing privilege turbulent turbulence. <laughs> I think he might he might bring the whole plane down in a desperate uh, quest to maintain his comfort. Sir, sir, we're gonna have to ask you to take a seat. We're going to have to ask you to board and take a seat. How, how do you know I'm a sir? You're Ed 209. I can't sit. <laughs> and Ed is E-D. It's an acronym. The polite thing would be to ask me that shit. I'm sorry. I should have asked for your pronoun. How, how, how do you present yourself? By not sitting. <laughs> Yo, man, come on, just sit so we can take off. I explained to the ticket person, I don't sit. I'm, a, I'm an we're urban, gonna have to ask urban you to, pacification. Why is he not sitting? You, we're going to have to ask you to take a seat. Sir. Just sit down. <laughs> sit down so we can get on with our lives. <laughs> Why can't you sit for one second? Hydraulic systems overloaded. <laughs> I know, I have to sit. Welcome. Or wait, not Phoenix. Uh, d Detroit? Where were we going? Milwaukee? I don't know. Okay, great. We're here. <laughs> Limping in pain. Sacrificed all my happiness, identity, and comfort. I must get to my parents' house. My father needs medical assistance. <laughs> I'll have to take an Uber. Oh. 
<laughs> At least their job is just to pick me up and transport me to a place. What? How could that ever involve uh, stripping me of my humanity? <laughs> Hello, bro. <laughs> Uh, just, uh, you got to put in your destination. The address is in the. I put it I in the. I don't app. have the destination. The app is designed for, to have the address put in it. So you're going to have to I say, always use it. The you whole have to, idea of this gonna, app is to not have to talk to gonna, people. You want a water? You want some candy? I got some candies I up there. I don't need candy or water. That's very nice. That makes you very different from a cab. Wow. Why is your cat in Because. <laughs> Uh, because Dr. Dr. Mittens comes with me wherever I go. It's, it's, it's a good luck charm for me. My father is sick and I need you to take oh, me that's to terrible. the... Uh, you, have, you have to put the destination in. Okay, just take a left up here. Okay, take a left. But that, this is a one-way street. I have to go, I have to go right there. Okay, that's not, that's not yeah, true. But, hey, Dr. <laughs> Dr. Mittens. Dr. M- Can I pull over? Because Dr. Mittens has to go pee-pee time. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Hey, hey, here you go. Dr. Mittens, go run out and go pee. Go, go pee. He's, he's an outside cat, but he likes to be, he likes to ride with me. Z- zip. He wears little, he wears little. Why, why does your cat wear pants? He wears little kitty pants because it, it keeps, it's for mostly to keep his hair off the seats so that you, you're not uncomfortable. In my, in it never my... occurred to you that if hair. Zip. Being on the seat is a bad thing. That you, the cat should stay. At like, why home. Don't you, look, if you have so many so many problems, you should take left. You know, you shouldn't. <laughs> okay, okay can, can we go? Okay, no, no. I'm, 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 now I, I'm charging you already because we we've, we've, we've been going for a minute now. I know. We'll just go. Take me to the address. Okay, I'm going. You want to? Would you like music? What do you want? No, I, nothing. I, I got my own music. I have. I have a little band. Fine. It's, I don't uh, care. I don't care. <laughs> It's it's a mariachi band that me, me and my friends have together. I don't care. I'm, I'm super Mexican, so I. <laughs> play. Can you please keep I your think. eyes on the road? I, that's like, bro, you got you're being very aggressive right now. I'm, you have you have ten seconds to calm the fuck down. <laughs> okay. Okay, we'll just we'll just go in, in silence and we'll just we'll just you just be quiet. I'll be quiet. I'll do my thing. Yeah. Okay. What the f- Wake up! <laughs> oh! Oh! God damn it! Jesus Christ! What I the fell, fell asleep! I fell asleep! Oh, Professor Mittens! No! <laughs> Professor Dr. Mittens! Dr. Mittens! Oh, no! I'm Not getting like out. this! I'm getting out of the Not car! Not like this! Oh, God damn it! I'm taking your cat because you can't take care of it and if it's a doctor, <laughs> it might be able to help my dad! <laughs> Dad, Dad, it's me, Monica. We just had a roller coaster installed in the backyard. <laughs> it's, I'm glad you could finally make it. Edward Monica. Your well, father's on his deathbed. He's got three breaths left. I, I'm glad you could finally take off time from your busy schedule. Get out of my way. Ow, ow my leg. Dad, dad. <laughs> Dad, you have three breaths to love me. Dad, I can save you. They can save everyone. That's one breath. Oxygen resources depleting. I don't care. Final Ed 209 breath tank inflating father. Hydraulic reser- reserves b- 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 d- 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 uh, channeled into father saving. Oh, 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 oh,
Ooh, life force at twenty percent, ten percent, five. Welcome to life. <laughs> Even though I was already here. It's a roller coaster. (laughs) Well, my character's dead. (laughs) You get. Oh! Oh! Megan! Megan, what happened? Where's my, where's my boy? My girl, Monica. Ed, Edward Monica just gave his her life to save oh, yours. No, Bobby. But I'm oh, I I was I, I, I wanted to die. I know. <laughs> I know. I I know. Our marriage has been loveless for I so know, many I years. I know. I know. And you're racist. I know. You're a terrible person. I hate it. I'm. I'm I'm a straight up I'm a straight up Trumpy and I just uh, you know he's not gonna win. I, I know I know I know I he this this Why did he, awful he, he person. Didn't, he didn't have to. She didn't have to do that. I also, know. Did, did we ever figure out the the pronoun? It was just so much effort. Yeah, I I yeah um, yeah yeah. Well, this this not, is a disaster. So I feel great. I feel good. Feel pretty good. I know. That's well, a, the potato salad is thought out. Uh, <laughs> but there's only enough I don't, for you and me. I don't want to live anymore. But now I'm so full of life force. <laughs> is there, um, ooh, there's, a, there's a portal on Monica 209 shaped just like my hand. What? I'm, uh, I'm going to put my hand in that, in that Did, hand-shaped ma- portal. Ma- oh. Genetic cybernetic amalgamation program initiating. <laughs> Robocop program <laughs> developing. Embryonic phase initiated. <laughs> Come quietly or there will be trouble. <laughs> Oh, who am I? (laughs) I have hands and Peter Weller's mouth. Murphy? I will call myself Murphy. It's you. Murphy? Mom. (laughs) Do you want to go on the roller coaster? I do. But come. it'll come at a price, son, daughter. I, I'll have to die again. And just let me go this time. Just let it, let it happen. Dad, dead or alive, you're coming with me. Do you believe in Riddle Cap metaphors for cultural uh, complexities? <laughs> We fucking nailed it. Uh, God damn it. I wish it was 10 o'clock so we could have ended on that. It was fucking good. You you could probably cut out the whole uh, Apple Watch people coming back. (laughs) Yeah, I didn't... Yeah, yeah, it didn't really help. I I thought it would be a good, you know, just kind of... I think it developed his character... Or her character of going like the road of trials, like like enemies and allies, like I, I just wasn't wasn't listening to his space work, mm-hmm. so it fucked up everything. So yeah, well, well I think if I learned anything from that story, it's that you know you have to go with the way you feel and not uh, you know the way some external force, even inside of you, might say things should be changed and edited. Like you should go with your original feeling. Uh, so if you really wanted that guy to have a have a well come back there fine you know yeah because we we've we really atoned through that character yeah. it's like no matter what your programming is you still have to def- define yourself even if no matter how you're wired yes because to just follow your program. he learned to sit 
<laughs> he, well, 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 yeah, I mean, at, at, at but, a huge at a huge cost. But that was a dark. That was not. That was not a try. That was not a good thing. No. I, in my opinion, no, no, no. That was, I that think was... you should be able to interpret true art, which I believe that was. <laughs> You should be allowed to interpret it however you want. I think actually there was a transphobic message there as well as a, uh, a, a, a hopefully yeah. an up, a more uplifting one. I felt it was a Christ myth about somebody who was being crucified. But but you Archie Bunker might go like, hey, yeah, geez, they just need to learn to sit. Uh, but but and like, like but that's that starts a conversation, you know, yeah. with your parents and with your with your neighbors. I fucking that were, was were I'm a parent, genius. Were his parents robots too, or they were? Were, they, were, uh, were? I don't know. I think they were Peter Weller and Nancy Allen. I guess. <laughs> oh, the so whole time. Yeah. I mean, obviously, we diverted from the canon of the original. Right. But it came feature. almost like it, it became almost like an origin story for Murphy. Like like we gave birth to. Yeah. Ro- there were some looper elements in there because it seemed like Ed was lamenting the RoboCop program in the break room, but then ended up being the birth of it. Yeah. Look, I don't want to. You know, let's not ruin it. You know. No. Like remember the first Matrix movie? We got in and got out, and we we didn't find out till two movies later it was all a piece of shit. <laughs> Like we didn't, we didn't, we didn't even think to take a second look. <laughs> it was like that was amazing. I haven't seen wire work in an American film in a long time. <clears throat> and maybe we are all batteries. That makes sense. Don't think about it. Of course, that's a perfectly legitimate source of voltage. I think Ed's conversation with his mom was was very touching. I like that. I like the whole thing. Yeah, we're ruining it. <laughs> we we can't be afraid to just move on and like come up with an even better closer. Is no. there some product we have to advertise? Do we? Yeah, we're going to do it in studio, though. Oh, okay. We're gonna what? Do... What? We're going to do MeUndies in the studio because... What's MeUndies? Oh, I'm what, glad what? you asked. I mean... <laughs> no? Well, you're not familiar with the softest, most comfortable underwear on the planet Earth? <laughs> They're made out of modal fabric, which... Uh, and if you don't like them, you get to, you get to poop in them? <laughs> Send them back <laughs> for free. They send you another pair. Like I heard Georgia Hardstark, she did the Miendi's ad on uh, Making a Murderer. Or, not Making a Murderer. <laughs> my favorite murder. And, uh, and she pronounced it Madal or something like that. Madal. <laughs> was, uh, it was fancier. Yeah. I don't, know how you, I don't know how you say it. I just know that it's an underwear company that we're apparently shilling for it in a... You should try them out. I think that's very negative language. I truly, I'm wearing them right now. Are you they're, really? They are genuinely softer than cotton. Are and, they are they caressing your genitals in a romantic fashion? Yeah, but it's not a. It doesn't have to be a sexual thing. It's. I don't believe you. <laughs> I want proof. Well, I may. It's. I, I may not be wearing them, so I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm still. I'm still. I'm not gonna throw my. I'm. I'm letting Nigel eat the uh, the cotton underwear. Slowly, like he. Who's Nigel? N- Nigel is Dan's manservant. <laughs> Who, when you Dan, ha- when Dan gets rid of his eat- old underwear, he, uh, old underwear, Nigel will eat it. E- he'll eat the old underwear. I got a Vive. I hooked up a Vive in my. I, I, uh, I the, is anybody in the audience uh, rich enough to have a six foot room to just spare? I know, but I'm a game designer, kind of. I have a- game designer. Have you done stuff for the, that v, for in VR? That's why I got into game design. Pornography? <laughs> it's Any pretty, it's, pornography? I, uh, well, I just... Duncan Trussell, ju- I was just talking to him because he's really into VR. He sent me this odd link that I don't quite... I'm not experienced enough with VR yet to understand the context of this. I've only been doing like the demos. I did I did immediately, almost immediately, I brought up yeah. Pornhub Premium yeah. like just within virtual space. I just wanted to know like... What's it like? Would it be different if you were just if if the website on which you watch porn, like if it was like all of a sudden like it's just in front of you, and the answer is well, yeah, it would, it would, it's like it's like having porn blown up in front of you, but but yeah, they're obviously making VR porn. I just haven't I just haven't like gotten into it yet. Although the uh, dress form in Tilt Brush already made me a little. <laughs> um, there's what? Like, there's like what? different back backgrounds. Up, back up. I have, tilt, no, I have no idea what any of the last brush? minute and a half has been I got about. Tilt on, brush? I got turned on by a virtual mannequin. <laughs> 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 Even 
mannequins are already virtual. <laughs> And I'm like, and, and I was like, you know, there's this, there's this amazing. Google made this app called Tilt Brush. Like, if you get, if you ever get into one of these things and you only have a certain amount of time, I think the most impressive thing to do first is go to Tilt Brush because it's like, the, the most impressive thing is like, it's a, it, it's this like the tracking. That's what it is. It's like it. That's why in the '90s we were talking about VR incessantly, like honeycomb commercials and things were like VR's here and it wasn't. But it's the I think it's the tracking technology because you're holding these things now and they're just tracking perfectly. And you you so everything that you're doing in there, like I I, I was on Mars that was assembled out of Mars rover pictures and like you, the locomotion thing is always going to be an issue now because it's like you got your you got your rich people who can afford to have one of these systems where you have external external trackers where you're like okay it's like the equivalent of a swimming pool basically because you're like who has the real estate to like give over a a bedroom to this system where you have to have total floor space and then the odd thing is well it's so impressive that you can kind of like do this casual kind of like walk around but you can't like go bounding off into the Woods, you you immediately you you have to like so everything is based on like kind of teleportation right now. That's you have to like just teleport to places, and then you can walk around six feet in that area. But it's it's just unbelievable. There's no question. Once you're in it, you're like, okay, that's it. World's over. Like 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 in terms of like like storytelling. Like I don't even know how we're gonna do our job anymore because like the like, like, well I do know. I, it's like it's time to retire because like it's yeah. gonna be a whole different skill set that I think AI is even going to be better at because your job as a writer in a post VR world is going to be, is going to have so much more to do with volume and like um, kind of almost procedurally generated, like just volumes of eavesdroppable material, because I think that your job is going to be to create the illusion of infinity. So, in, you know, we, we're, since the Lumiere brothers were like, Oh, fade in on this cut to that. Here's what we, here's what you see now. And here's what you see now. We, we were all born into this world and we don't even know. So now you put on this thing and it's like, Oh, you can't, you, you, everything has to be based on just like it's, it has to be like that that thing in New York where you're walking around in the Midsummer Night's Dream production and yeah. you can go through Rockefeller people's panties. Rockefeller Center. Drawers. It has to. Be, every, every, <laughs> everything's gonna be. sleep no more. What's it called? Faith no more. It's called Faith no more. It's called Faith no more. Sleep, Rockefeller sleep Center. No more. Everybody knows what we're talking about. It's gonna be like that. You're gonna be. You're gonna want to. Dra- it's gonna be like soap opera writing a little bit in that way. The volume because you're gonna like oh you can't VR people come to Lego. Like every other week, like we're we're always talking about like the next stage of it. Have you put Have you put on the yeah. helmet? So you are you what are you are you into like, it? Yeah, yeah, it's kind of cool. I mean, I've 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 been over at Justin's house and I've mm. you know gone underwater and saw the whale. You know, yeah. I went over the mountain and I met the elephant, <laughs> so to speak. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, I was yeah. like, and I took it off, and I was like, you, and I go, uh, porn. What's up with that? Yeah. And, w- well, and how so, okay, soon? Okay, so and, Duncan, yeah, maybe this is a. Cool, and like, when can Duncan, I check out of what I'm doing right now? Duncan sent me a link to a Reddit thread. Which, and I, honestly, this is also cryptic to me because I don't, I'm not familiar with any of this. I said, I said, I said, I was just talking to him about VR, and I said, uh, I was asking, is there just my immediate question is, okay, this is fun, but is there, is, are there games where my fat ass can sit in a chair? <laughs> like, I, I, or I just want to drive or fly a helicopter. Like, I don't, I, I, I can only stand in a virtual museum and walk around and, and, and go, woo, before my feet get tired, like at a museum. Um, so I, I'm like, let me sit, is there games where I can sit in a chair and be like in a flying chair and go shoot people or something? Um, and he's like, uh, he said, there's a space game, but I can't figure out how to make it work. Uh, he had, and he said, like, have you, he just said, porn, question mark? And I said, porn, I only went as far as to experiment with pulling a porn hub on a screen, uh, blah, 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 dress form and tilt brush. Um, uh, and I, he, I don't get the tilt brush. What's a tilt brush? Tilt brush is an art app, okay? So it's like, 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 it's like a MS Paint in virtual reality. Okay. It, it, that will blow your mind the most because you're painting, you can uh, paint yeah, yeah. Oh, not only in that, 3D yeah. space, but you can also, your brush, the, the thing that makes me freak out is the palette interface. It's, it, you have, where, where your wrist would be, you have these, this cube that you can rotate by swiping. It's, it's an immediate uh, indication of how much more convenient it's going to be to work in VR in terms of menus and like it, you, UI, UI and stuff. Because it, it, you're just like, there's a cube on your wrist that it just goes flip, 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 flip. And it's just like all these different, like, so, okay, you pick your brushes and then you pick like, 
a fire brush, you know, and you paint with fucking fire in the air, and it's like, in, it, and it's, you can just make a tunnel of fire and stick your head through there. Then you can grab the whole space and shrink it down and rotate it and all this and, stuff. So and you get turned on by this tilt brush. So you're one just of the, like, oh man, so, the so, fire. So, so they have different backgrounds you can change it to. So if you wanted to like sculpt or something, there's like a little pedestal there, and you can't touch the pedestal. And you're holding these things but it's like it already makes you think like oh shit it, whatever the disney of the future is if people are still you know if it's a, if people are just going to obviously that's how, that's how you're going to model like the 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 mickey mouses of the future you're going to i haven't done minecraft now uh but the, the the but i'm downloading grand theft auto 5 like I, I t- like J- justin told me it was like i just stood in the, in the strip club for like 10 minutes and just looked around <laughs> But that's the scary part because it's like, well, guess what you do next? You start shooting everyone. Like that's how, or, or you're playing the game wrong. So it's like already you just get fucking terrified. But or if you, or at least if you're over forty, you do. If you're your age, maybe you're like, yeah. So it's like, uh, and maybe that will save us. Maybe maybe people need to go do that. Yeah, shit. it'll probably know. save us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, pro- that's definitely yeah. what'll probably happen. Of course, it'll yeah. save us. Just like for movies sure. saved us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You, you for want, sure. You want to get it out of your system? Yeah, yeah. It'll yeah, save. Yeah. Yeah, everybody with an Eli Roth DVD on their TV, like yeah. they got it all out of their system. Like, yeah. uh, that's why. That's why violent crime went down so much. All right. Yeah. So, but, but the 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 I just sound like uh, grandparents. But the, the, but but I guess grandparent uh, auto. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the goddamn? I can't find the park. How the, does it? How do you make it shoot? <laughs> <laughs> Where's my grandchildren? Uh, but to answer your Where's question, my grandchildren? One of the backgrounds in Tilbrush. So Who am I? Get Get this, get this what? strip club off of my lawn. Where's, where's my, where's my lawn? You can change the backgrounds to anything you want. So you can be standing in infinite space and painting shit. You can go white room, a black room. Uh, you can have like a marble pedestal in front of you. If you want to make shit on top of that. And you then, can make it any kind of room you want. <laughs> you asked me a fucking question, man, and I'm in the middle of answering it for ten minutes. I'm, and, the, and, the, and it's like the question is, Dan, tell us about your fucking sexually perverse brain, like, and why you're a monster. And I'm trying to get there. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> One of the backgrounds that you can change it to is like a dress form. You know, like, what do you call it? A maiden form. It's a it's a torso. It's a it's yeah. a for for with, for pinning fabric yeah. to. I think it's called a maiden form. Right? It's a dress maiden form. form? I think that a dress form. So it's it's, it's a dress form. <laughs> so you you switching buttons like oh there's Saturn and there's a, I'm in the desert and I'm painting and stuff and then it's like oh the dress form and I was just like ah. <laughs> And it's, a, it's fucking. It's a life-sized uh, torso. A torso in front of you, and already, no head. Already, no head. Uh, yeah. There was no head. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> no head. No limbs. No arms. A, like, a you know. headless torso. <laughs> so hot. I, I feel like you guys are interpreting this the wrong way, but maybe not. I don't know. I mean, I, take me oh to jail. But I, what I'm trying to do is say, like, like already, it's like. The te- Cody, te- the, run for the hills. The, the technology is so primitive, but it's, it's like you're in virtual reality, but there's a thing that is life size in front of you that even even thinly that represents. has no brain. So think about like Jessica Rabbit and Who Framed Roger Rabbit. You think about like the uh, the hmm. ideal of beauty, like sometimes how it sometimes actually not only it filters reality, but sometimes it seems like like it. it the whole point is that it's not real. And it's like, like I, there's going to be this whole... I mean, you look at today, like, we have celebiosexuals and, like, like, like we, we're, we're in this modern world and, like, people are finding out all these different ways to be turned on and, like, now we're going to have the first generation born into Ce- a world where... Celebius... What? You, yeah, people who just identify as, like, look, here's my sexuality. Like, uh, uh, like, like uh, well, I don't know. You'd have to talk to one of them. I, 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 like, like it, I, I don't want to mischaracterize it and say, fame make, gives me a boner. I, I, that, that, that sounds... Uh, whatever. But it's like... I I'm a celebusexual. I'm saying, God, why am I fucking explaining myself to you? <laughs> the, the, the fucking, like, it's, it, yes, it's a dress form. It couldn't be less. It's like the vague hint of femininity in the vague hint of, like, a thing in front of you. And all, immediately, it's, of course, I was just like, 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 just like, kind of like, you put your hands out there because that's your, your instinct. I, I keep, I always say you're because I'm trying to, like, decriminalize myself. But I, that's what I did. Like, it was like this, and it was like, oh, man, here we go. Like, 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 like this world. I'm glad I'm, I'm on the way out. 
I don't I don't know if I'd be equipped to like like handle the things that are ahead for kids like like how they're gonna have to sort themselves out around this shit because you're gonna be able to do anything you want like 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 all the time and I think also the planet's gonna be dying so like 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 <laughs> like so it's going to behoove us to to the, the more time we spend in this thing the less time we're gonna be driving our 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 our, our fog machines that are like destroying the earth so do, it's do, gonna do, Dan and when we impri- Dan, when we put people in prison which dr- we love to do we're gonna be like okay you get to be in a virtual prison so your cell can be smaller in real life <laughs> do you, it's, we're going to take advantage you, of this. Do you think that we're ready for fog machine car technology? <laughs> as long as there's signs in front of every freeway that says... When you uh, say you put your hands out at this mate address form, uh, you're, you're not... I'm hold, you're holding like these Wii paddles right now. They haven't done like, uh, you know, you're not minority reporting yet with like fingerless gloves yet. But I'm sure that's coming. But it's actually more handy right now that they have like these very elaborate like... Because that would just be two buttons, you know, on, off. Um, th- this is like, th- they still have these paddles. You're shaking your head. Well, okay, fine. All right, that's a different episode. Sorry, no, it's fine. It's no. budget-related, you know. I mean, they have options, but they're right. not as soon, and as soon as they get rid of the wires, right? Right now, it's like ridiculous. It's like you have like a big braid of like thick cables coming out of the top of your head that like you have to like traipse around. It's like, thank God I used to do stand up, so I'm like not falling on my ass. Like I'm just like, so what else is going on, ladies? My applause. Uh, it's 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 not there yet, but anyone that puts this thing on is going to be like, I get it. It's here. It's not going anywhere, and it's going. It's like it's the first time you. This is the Sugar Hill Gang, and and like. <laughs> Like, there were people back then who were like, oh, well, so what is all this dumb rapping thing? And it's like, you know, it's, it's, it's happening. It's the Sugar Hill Gang, everybody. <laughs> all right, so the we, Sugar we, Hill Gang. We've got to end the show now. Yeah. yeah. We, can, we can edit out the whole ending where I talk about VR. <laughs> we can just end with the, 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 uh, the, the RoboCop transgender metaphor. <laughs> It was pretty good. It was great. It was the uh, uh, the odyssey of. Uh, I, I, look, I haven't seen Transparent, but I think we. Should we I think do we beat like them. a? I think we beat them. What if we did like a uh, like a Talking Dead, uh, a little mini episode about like the the Ed Two O Nine transgender thing? Yeah. Okay. You want to do a little Talking Dead? Yeah, we'll do that. If you, if you stick around, we'll be here till three in the morning. And uh, okay. I'm... That's right. But uh, yeah, how do we how do we wrap things up? Let's do a little. Uh, uh, I want to hear some more vocoder. Yeah, we'll do. It. We'll, 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 we'll. I'm so Jesus sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. What the fuck, dude? I just dro- I just dropped Shrub for those of you. How? <laughs> you uh, totally hit me with your. How? Sorry, I hit a button that I that they warned you me, hit not, me never to press. In the button. Testing. Testing. All right. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. Yeah. Can we get Rob with you to do to, to, to try to like, take the mic Yo. too? Yeah. What, what do you mean? I don't think I can get my voice to change unless I'm on that microphone. Yo. My name is Anthony Johnson. I live at two one two five three Avenue. My street doesn't have a name. I live at 21252 Avenue. My street has no name. How about you? Have you grown up on a street without a name? I'm describing a situation that is the same for a, a generation born into identity crises. I'm a Pisces. <laughs> I fucked your mom with lices. I got crabs till I Nike out the door. Tried to do four. Can't rhyme four times. If you're improvising. Yo, my name is Anthony Johnson. I've told you that already. I want to explain one thing to you. I fucked your mama on the morning dew. The grass gets wet in the morning, but so does your mama. I bet. If she's with Anthony. But don't Thank you for coming to Hiring 10, everybody. Oh. It's been a shock. 9 11. Let's hear it for Rob Schraub, shall we? Rob Schraub. Yo. 
Yo. I've been your comptroller, Jeff Davis. Yeah. Your mayor Yo. is Dan Harmon. Yeah. Go get your high colonic. Go get your high colonic. Get the water in your butt and get your doctor on it. It's not don't, too bad. Don't just go to a lady who right. uses... You're allowed to leave now. Drive fast. Take chances, equipment. everybody. <laughs> Thank you.